Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed upon you the greatest endowment by making you Muslim. And that is enough for you to be the happiest in the world. Don't look at others and their wealth, their money, what they have. Say, Alhamdulillah, I'm Muslim. That's all what I need. Be steadfast to Islam until death. Because this is the greatest endowment ever bestowed upon a slave. Say, Alhamdulillah, for guiding me to Islam. And without the guidance of Allah, I wouldn't have been guided. So Allah guided me to Islam, Alhamdulillah. And how would you be grateful to Allah and thankful to Allah? By obeying Allah, perform the obligations and avoid the sins. If you do that, you would be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah gave you all these endowments. Look at yourself. You can eat, you can walk, you can talk. So you are receiving many endowments in this life. And on top of all of these endowments is being Muslim. So don't look at the worldly pleasures. Throw them behind your back. Throw them behind your back. And we told you before the statement of Prophet Isa السلام, when he said that wearing the unwoven wool the unwoven wool and eating the ashes and sleeping on garbage is too much for the one whose end is death. What do you want from this life? You are going to die. This life is very short. Live your life properly. Even if you want to enjoy some of the pleasures of this life, try to get that enjoyment from halal not haram. It's not worth it to lose your sight because you look at haram. It's not worth it to lose the ability of hearing because you listen to haram. It's not worth it to become paralyzed because you use your hands and legs in acts of disobedience. It's not worth it. That's why Remember this, and before you commit any sin, think of the consequences. What might happen to you? It's a sin, it's going to be written against you. And also, the bad effect of the sin is that you might be inflicted with a calamity in this life. And you deserve so. You deserve so. You deserve to be inflicted with a calamity. Just imagine if for every sin you commit, you'll have a cyst in your body. You know the cyst, swelling with pus and blood in it. For every sin you commit, how awful would be the bodies of human beings? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala covered us in this life. So we have a chance to repent. So we have a chance to repent. In the past, whenever a person used to commit a sin, he will find it written on his door on the following day. But then this matter stopped, ceased to exist, to happen. But imagine if at this time, whenever a person commits a sin, it would be shown in his body. What's going to happen to him? If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you a chance to repent, don't take advantage of not being inflicted and you keep indulging in sinning never do this thank allah for not exposing you 
Thank Allah for the endowments bestowed upon you and repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before this. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase our knowledge and to benefit us with the knowledge we are acquiring and to make our end as righteous Muslims. Ameen.